RL Craft is not what we're playing today, but you didn't click away from the video right away, did you? That's right. Okay, listen, this is quality entertainment. Don't skip this goddamn. I know you don't care about it. Listen, this is my fit. Look, look, we have echo effects. Okay. All right. We have, we have, we have, uh, uh, you know, slap like. Okay. And explosions. What more do you want? All right. There we go. There's my intro. Are we good? Good. <laughs> I spent all morning setting that up. God damn. There's the intro. Anyway, welcome, welcome back to Unreal Tournament, my favorite game of all time. Uh, this is I'm doing this uh, godlike let's play where the bots are on godlike difficulty, which means it, it's it, you die a lot. It's hard. It's very hard. It's harder than RL Craft. Hard. Um, and doing this for its 20th anniversary. Uh, because this game is 20 years old. This came out in 1999. Uh, and undoubtedly has some of the best AI ever. Um, so yeah, I wanted to play this on Godlike, do something for his 20th birthday. We destroyed Do Deathmatch. It kind of destroyed us, but we finally got through, <laughs> we got through the whole Deathmatch branch. Peak, we nailed on the first shot. So happy about that. And then Domination, we, we actually haven't lost a single round in Domination, but the AI might be carrying me a little bit because there's teams and it makes it a little easier. But anyway, so uh, no more stalling. Are we fighting? We're fighting with Malcolm. I am, it's funny because I'm playing that character too. So now there's gonna be two Malcolms running around. All right, that should be good. Ooh, good tune as well. Uh, hey, Bonham Alkov, welcome. X Cred, Doom Annihilator. Dunded, Dinar. Uh. <laughs> ah. Here we go. The timer starts now. We go for an hour long. I don't know this map at all. Um, what the? And there you go. There's. Godlike difficulty in a nutshell. Damn. Gotta, I gotta work. Gotta get back into it because Rusty is always. Oh hi. Oh. So I don't know where any of the objectives are in this one. Oh wait. Oh, I do remember this. Oh, this is actually kind of cool. Wow, I haven't played this in a long time. I also forgot to set the bots. Nope, I missed it. Uh, uh, uh. There we go. All right. I totally forgot about this map. This is actually a cool map. What? Really? I just stole my gun. All right. Bots, carry me. Why are we connecting to? Did I hit a button? Whoops! I think I hit something. <laughs> oh, you son of a bitch. I just slaughtered that guy. Bruh. Okay. Oh. Was this just a spawner? Okay. God, I, I have no idea. I don't know this level at all. Get out of here. Got him. Oh! She grenaded. She grenaded. Okay. <laughs> I just hit myself. Ah! Well, that didn't work very well. Ah! 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 No. Fuck you. Fuck you. God, I'm so rusty, man. I gotta oh, get back into this. Ow, that rocket, dude. Excuse me, sir. You're in my way. Okay. 
good. I need health. Wait, was that? That was not health. How do I get Twitch sub roll on Discord? Um, if you subscribed here and it's not giving you the roll up right away, sometimes it's delayed. The bot's a little weird. But it's an automatic thing. I can't even control it. The bot just has to do it. So I'm hoping to at least get to the first capture the flag map today. Uh, we have to do these four domination maps though first. I'm doing it in, in, uh, in order. Later. I'm just trying to get health right now. Oh god, dude, we're falling. Wait, whoa! They have every single. Uh oh, they have all the points. They have every single point. Not good. Excuse me, I'll take that. God, I still. I still don't know the layout of this very well. Oh shit, we're starting to lose here. Hang on. Okay, we got this one. I think this tunnel leads to the other one. Yeah. Oh my god! What a flak ball, dude! What a, what a shot! you guys in the same area. Spread out, damn it. Oh my god, get deleted. Oh! Damn it. <laughs> this map is kind of fun, not gonna lie. I like these stupid corridors for some reason. I don't know. Oh, wait, is that a thing? How do you get up in that? Wait, are you supposed to? Control point is secure. Really? Oh. Oh, okay. I'm in. I'm in. Oh. No! No! Ah! Haha! I forgot that there was the translocator. I'm an idiot. Listen, okay? I played this game for 20 years. Shh. I don't want to hear it. Real okay. We're like just barely ahead here. more shock combos. See? Shock combos. There was... How did I not kill him? <laughs> that was just a good prediction. I'm like, I bet. You know. Coming. Ah! 
You son of a bitch! I want to see assault. Well, we're probably not going to get to that today. There we go. Alright. That wasn't too bad. <laughs> I read the title wrong as Unreal Torture. I mean, not wrong. What do you think is your is your all-around favorite weapon? Flat Cannon, for sure. I know that's kind of cliche, but it's like everybody's, everybody's favorite weapon favorite weapon is going to either be like shock rifle or flat cannon you know what i mean people have been playing this for a long time like shock rifle's cool and all but man i love a good flat cannon really 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 i literally just i literally i literally just started can we calm down can we? Alright. Um. Can't get weird out. I feel like one of the cameras has the gun is always been. Some games I get weirded out by it. It feels like the camera is at the chest where the gun is all the way up. The face feels funny. Ah! In this game, I actually don't mind it at all. It's never, it's never thrown me off in this. I think it looks alright. I never thought about it. Yeah, it's never it's never like occurred to me or like it doesn't feel like a problem to me. I understand <laughs> that deserves some air arms. Jesus. Right. Oh, I forgot the uh What? No! Stop trying to connect to a server! What the hell? What button do I have that's bound to... That's weird. Ooh, is that a Kega Hell? We are losing this one pretty bad, actually. Um, well, we're not losing losing, but... Dude, I have no idea. Bitch. 
Wait, you wanna? Burn, baby. Like, I want the sniper rifle, <laughs> damn it. Are we, we are not winning. We're actually Anybody struggling here. Up? This one is really confusing to me. I don't know where, like. Oh boy. Shit. I don't know where a lot of these, uh, control. What the? Oh, okay. I guess there's a thing in the water. I don't know where a lot of these control points are. Three. Oh god. Nope. Escape. I don't want to fuck with that. Locator. lead though now which is good oh no my sniper no 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 you my fucking sniper rifle god damn it that was bad that was that was the worst that was the worst thing i could have done actually though do it come up here please come up here we go what? oh god scared me actually Congratulations, you are the winner. There we go. <laughs> uh, oh, hey, man. Uh, welcome back. Uh, Budurad is how we say your name now. Okay. If you pronounce your name differently in the past, you're wrong. Okay, just saying. Fat doesn't say bro, it just looks like a car carbine. <laughs> yeah, right. Mm. Alright, okay. Thing is, uh, that affects position where the shot is fired. Most people use centered and hinted. Oh, yeah, about like, okay, so yeah, I do know what you're talking about. Um, depending on if you have your weapon set to be visible in your right hand or left hand, it'll actually offset the, um, I don't even know why, why they did this, but I, I actually kind of like it. So if you have, if you have your weapon set to offhand, uh, your right hand, um, all your shots are actually slightly to the right, right? Because they wanted to line it up with where it looked like your weapon was. 
so when you shoot a projectile, it actually comes out of the right side. I'm hella used to that. So, like, in my brain, I'm just always compensating for that. I know, like, the whole try hard esports thing to do is to just set center weapon or or hidden completely but i i just hate that like i like the way it looks being in my right hand and i'm already used to the offset right i don't rely on the crosshair really being in the center of the screen for where i aim as much as i really just kind of rely on i don't know it's just kind of like muscle memory at this point like i just i just know there's an offset and i just and i just work with it you know what i mean <laughs> Problem is with the stretch texture problem, the crosshairs don't fit. I don't mind the crosshair at all. I think it's fine. Um, I used to use a dot because you can kind of change it. Uh, but I, I find this one pretty good. Um, it's like the default. I hate this map. God, I just, I just remembered what this was. I think it's the song that puts me off. I love the soundtrack, but of all the music in the game, I think this is my least favorite track, and it's not like it's a bad track, it's just, I would probably listen to any other track from an tournament before I listen to this one. This part's cool with the, the, the strings. It's kind of got that journey feeling, but then the rest of the, the rest of the song I'm just not really a fan of. This would make a really good uh, Unreal track instead of Unreal Tournament, you know, for like a uh, single player. Oh, you're. Damn it. Single player uh, campaign or something. Oh, I did it again. Hang on. Orders. Really? What? Really? I'm. I'm trying to command my bots here, and I just realized we're fighting a bunch of Scar hybrids. Okay. So that's good. Okay, so I gotta remember. Control point, control point, and control point here? Yes. Alright, that's easy enough. Later. Oh! oh, again, teammate, fuck. It's hard to see the colors in this map for some reason. What the? to go and shit. Oh, yeah, the keg of health is up here. Okay, all right. That's a teammate again. I keep doing that. <laughs> I really want to kill my teammates. What is in here? Nothing? Other up, that's good. Control point is secure. <laughs> Since I say I love this map, Shiv, I hate it. I'm sorry, I don't. <laughs> sorry, dying. I'm not a whole fan of. Like, the Egyptian theme is cool, it's just not my favorite, like, style. I don't know, it's just. The, the, the theme and the, like, the color palette of it just. It <laughs> doesn't work for me. I'm not, like I said, I'm not saying it's bad. Because it is cool. Like, doing the Egyptian theme thing, alright, you know, but like. I don't know, I was never, like, a big fan of it. Like, even, even, like, Unreal Tournament 2004 even did more of the Egyptian theme and stuff. Like, Facing Worlds turned into a, a completely Egyptian themed map, right? And I, I didn't really like that either. They, they, even, they even had a whole set of Egyptian themed characters. Um, but I wasn't a total fan of it. Fuck, I walked right into that rocket. Keep, the, keep shooting teammates, dude. 
No, I don't have a weapon. Ah! Is there a sniper rifle on this map? Because fuck, I would like a sniper rifle. What? Excuse me. Alright. <laughs> 2K3. You know what's funny? I actually liked Unreal Tournament 2003. I'm sorry. But when that game came out, man, there was something really appealing about it. I don't know. It just, it was just really fucking cool to me. I think I, it might have been that initial phase of like, oh my god, Ragdoll physics in Unreal Tournament, you know, with the fancier graphics. I mean, obviously, 2004 was miles better. But, um... I quite like the uh, the ladder system, uh, like the campaign ladder in 2003. It had it had the really sick menu music, and it also did like the uh, uh, what do you call it? The um, that really awesome intro with like showing off like the tournament and fucking Malcolm being a badass and you know like it was just it was just cool, right? And there, there was there was like a, there was a weird style. To 2003, and it's funny because 2003, 2004 were like literally the same engine and everything, so you don't think the style would have really changed between the two games, but it it, it did. I can't. There was de there was definitely a different style, right? With 2003, it felt different. It definitely felt different, and there was something about it that I liked. I don't know what it was. Like, hands down, it's the worst Unreal Tournament of all the Unreal Tournaments. But, I still I still liked it. Like, it still had something unique about it. Right? I still have, I still have, yeah. I still have, I still have all the discs, too. I actually have two copies of the discs. Uh, because I have my own set. And then, uh, Cliff, uh, Cliff Blazinski who obviously did a hell of work on the Unreal Tournament series, um, sent me his signed copy of his his Unreal Tournament 2003 CDs. <laughs> I actually have a signed copy of Unreal Tournament 2003 on all the discs from Cliff himself. I should probably show that, actually. I gotta find it, though. I don't know where the hell I, I have that right now. How do you feel about the new UT? It went in a really good direction. They just need to work on it again. You know? <laughs> I like I like the new UT. I think the direction's been pretty good so far. Not a fan of them removing grenades from the rocket launcher. Right? I know that's how 2004 worked, but I, I didn't like it in 2004 either. Um, I don't like them making the grenade launcher its own separate weapon. I feel like it kind of becomes a little more like Quake in that regard. You know what I mean? And I'm not, I was never like really a fan of, uh, well, of, of the the competitive scene in Quake, right? So, oh my god, I almost nearly annihilated myself. Like, I, I, I love Quake for the single player games, one and two. I, I was never into the multiplayer of Quake, so. I just, I just don't like them putting the grenade launcher in a separate weapon because it feels like they're literally only doing that to adhere to the competitive scene more, right? Or try to be more like esports friendly or whatever. And it's like, look at, look at what made Unreal Tournament fucking awesome. You have a rocket launcher that not only can fire up to six rockets at a time, but then you right click and boom, it can fire six fucking grenades at once. It's just awesome. It's unreal. It's literally, you know what I mean? Like, unreal was always about just, just going fucking overboard and insane with every aspect of it, from the weapon design to the, you know, to the the, uh, the maps, right? The character designs, right? That's what I always loved about Unreal Tournament. It just gave zero fucks. It's like. Let's make a 
Let's make a weapon that shoots giant saw blades that bounce around and cut people's heads off. Oh, guess what? Right click, the razor blades now explode. You know, like, <laughs> who thinks of this shit? It's great, right? So I, I don't, that's why I, it's like, it feels like, uh... oh, did I say explode? Sorry. Um, it's why, it's why, it's, I'm gonna love that fucking hockey. It's why, um, it's, yeah, it's, just, it's why I think, like, putting grenades in its own dedicated weapon feels, n number one, not Unreal, and number two, like, it doesn't even have a place in Unreal Tournament, because you already have, like, there's so many, there, I would choose every other weapon, probably, over the grenade launcher, right? Putting a, like, put a grenade launcher in here, right? When the hell would you use it? You have, you already have a few kind of like lobbing projectile um, weapons. The bio rifle, right? The flat cannon, you know? Um, it, like, I, I feel like, I feel like you would just use a flat cannon over the grenade launcher. Like, I think they wanted it for, like, uh... I think they said something about, like, they wanted the grenade launcher to be, like, a, a sort of, uh... A crowd control type weapon. Like, you would launch it down corridors and stuff to, like, try to control an area. Um, because they thought it could get, like, too spammy. But honestly, grenades are so fucking easy to dodge. I feel like they're very situational. And if you have a map where grenades become a problem because they're easy to spam in like very tight corridors and 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 create like a choke point, to me that's bad map design, not bad weapon design. You know what I mean? The majority of levels, the majority of maps in Unreal Tournament, I feel like grenades are almost, if not all the time, useless. You know what I mean? Because a lot of maps have very big open areas. There's multiple paths, so it's not like you can just choke point one path in order to get to a, an area, right? Like if you're doing capture the flag or something. <clears throat> so grenades in Unreal Tournament always seem to be very, uh, like, like I said, situational dependent. There might be, you might know that there's one guy following you down a corridor and you can launch grenades behind you really quickly, right? Like you, you don't, you, they don't, they don't get spammy to me. In my, in that, I think that was the main reason they said they moved it into its own weapon because the grenades were getting spammy, and I just, I don't know, I just didn't agree with it. So. This map, by the way, almost just killed myself. I have no idea. Okay, so we got a uh, checkpoint there. Oh. It's just not high enough. There we go. Boop. Lift three activated. <laughs> oh. Okay. Boxes helipad crane. So okay, here's here's this one. Is this boxes? This is boxes. Crane is this one. And then, oh, and then this is helipad. So they're all. Or is this box? Is the other one? Okay. So all of these are up here. Okay, they're all outside. That's good. I was wondering if we had to go inside for any reason. But I guess it's just for a weapon. So. I haven't played this map in literally years. If there wasn't a wall there, dude. Did I hear a sniper rifle? Oh, okay. Ah, oh, I just steal my kill. Oh, I want this. No! Let's do a dance on my body. I like the bots even taunt you, dude. Well, later. And somebody got the shield. Oh, you got the shield. Oh, I'm gonna go now. Oh, no, you don't see anything. Nope. Uh -huh. <laughs> Got him. Oh, I didn't need the... Dude, I want to get that sniper, man. 
Where the hell does that spawn? Oh, it's up there, but you have to use a teleporter on the inside to get to it. Bro, okay, all right, hang on. Wait a minute. Ah, hey, man. I can't out minigun the bots. All right. Oh? All right, I guess. Hey, I got a present for you right up your ass. What if I just stay up here and snipe? Just let my, my bots do the work. Lol. <laughs> Easy. Easy peasy. All right, listen, it's not camping. This is strats. These are pro strats. Oh, those are my teammates, hang on. Look, we're winning. It's fine. Literal pro strats right now. Ha <laughs> ha, I got the kill. <gasps> Pro straps. Okay. Deleted. Well, later. I saw an invisible person thought it was an enemy. Okay. Right. Oh. 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 Nah, missed. Oh, hi. Oh. Oh. Here we go. Control point is got it. Okay. You know how I said here we go? I lied. I, I suck here. I'm just trash. I had to stop from peeking the window, right? She killed herself. Oh. I just like pulling up the bodies. It's too fun not to, right? a lot of armor doing that, but oh well. Oh, not good. I'm grabbing this. I'm going on the ground. 
I'm gonna go get the sniper rifle if I can find it. Actually, let's grab this. Grab the sniper. Control point is secure. <laughs> oh, too much. Uh, <clears throat> Nobody saw anything. All right. Control point is secure. Loser. Walked by the checkpoint, didn't even, didn't even capture it. What the? So sneaky. Literal solid snake. Yeah! I'm trying to. I will. I can't. I'm trying to tell him. <laughs> Got him! That was amazing. Oh. No, I had to redeem. I couldn't switch. Siphon XX with a tier one sub. Thank you. Uh, rock on, so we load. Okay. See that? That to me just feels like. Why? You know what I mean? Oh, wow. I think it would take away some of the fun of it, right? I think that would be a good, uh, like a good balancing change, really. Like if you're trying to go for balance or something, like that's not, I don't know. It'd be kind of funny, but also it would remove, remove some fun factor, man. I'll remove my fun factor. <laughs> Ow! These bots are literally insane. Why would you launch a rocket point blank? Why would you do that? Again, launching rockets, point blank. Man, this goes to 200 points? Jesus, we're actually, okay, this is a very close game. Yeah. not what I wanted to do at all. Uh, I haven't fallen off yet, at least. That's my only saving grace this map, so far as that I, I haven't fallen off the damn. <laughs> you I think you lost some of the context, too. Wait. Let me read it again. What would be really cool, having the ability for the rocket launcher to auto-load upon charging the full mag at the price of not being able to shoot when it's loading switching weapons could make you volatile to explode i don't even understand fully what you're talking about there also easy easy domination trophy easy literally easy Domination. There it is. The trophies always look so cool. I actually like what they did for the trophy designs. 
<laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Please abuse the broken grenade spamming next match. What do you mean? It's not broken. I don't think it's bro I personally feel like it's not broken. I know the try-hard eSport professionals say it is. Because they get mad when they die from grenades, but you know what? Part of the game. Sorry. Anyway. All right. Easy peasy. We got it. It's on the capture the flag. How long have we been streaming? One hour? Okay. Uh, I had about like 15, 20 minutes of intro. So we have about 15 or 20 minutes. That should be enough for the first cap tutorial. Oh God, Niven. All right. Is this a 1v1? Oh, it's a 2v2, sorry. This is who's on my team. Got it. All right. We should have time to at least do one capture the flag game. <laughs> These four tryhards get mad when they take one point of damage. <laughs> Not wrong. <clears throat> you put the bots on defense? Yeah, I gotta think about the strat for this. Do I send the bot in or do I defend? I think I want to go in. Also, because it can be boring sitting around defending, I'd rather try to do some of the work. But at the same time, since the bot on my team is also a godlike bot, he could own. And then I could also just grab the shock rifle and just defend by fucking shock comboing the hallway, right? So, I don't know. It depends. I'll try to I'll try to I'll try to be the aggressor. I'll try to attack. Grenade grenades actually might be a little useful, but I, I remember this map and I tried using grenades to like defend this corridor. And it's like a 50-50 chance they really fucking work. Because they just bounce all over the place, you know what I mean? You got these little corners they can bounce on. This is slanted, right? So even even in a corridor that's this small, the grenades aren't hundred percent useful i think they're useful just enough as they should be like i don't i really don't think it's op or anything um we'll see i'll try to set him to defend i'll be the attacker all right defend you defend i'm going in oh thought you were the enemy all right let's see if i can do this All right, already minigunned. That's fine. I trust Othello to be able to defend. That. So they're gonna have one guy defending, one guy going for our flag. Okay. Get your fucking. All right, now this is. The word becomes a little difficult because they'll respawn right fucking here. Yep. Okay. Easy. Bam, bam, bam. 
joking me. Get our flag back, you bitch! I need health. Where's health? Orders. Uh, how do we? Enemy flag carrier is here. Okay. All right, he's already going to get it. I don't have to tell him to go get the flag. Back. Come on, Othello! What are you doing? Can I just wait a minute? Big brain, full health. See? Big brain. And then I just go get the flag. <laughs> Need health? Just kill yourself. No problem. It's the problem solved. <laughs> I mean, it works, right? What do you, what do you want? Oh, Othello, dude. Maybe I should give the. Should, can I give the flag to a fella? You like that? Oh, shit. I overextended. Alright, well, that wasn't good. You can also take this way, I believe. I just don't. I just don't like it because you're a sitting duck in the water. You hit that shot combo. Ah! <laughs> Where's the rocket launcher? All right, we're gonna try the grenade strat because somebody mentioned it. Where is the grenade launcher? Or rocket launcher? I hear that door opening. No way. Oh, you have the rocket. Fucking fuck me in the fucking ass, dude. Did you get it? Okay, we got a flag back. Okay. Shit. I forgot how tough this is really going to be. Where is the rocket launcher? Am I... Alright, here we go. Ready? Grenades. And completely missed. <laughs> Not the play. No, she had the f Boris! What are you doing? Or Othello, sorry. Othello! Bruh! Come on, man! Othello, you are literally running. We need some backup! Alright, hang on. You seem to be having trouble here. Othello, you go, all right? Go get the fucking flag. Take their flag. I'll defend. Jesus. Red leader. Watch, ready? Easy, easy defense. See? Literally easy. Give me that rocket launcher. Why can't I find the rocket launcher, by the way? Where's the rocket launcher? Oh. Yeah, yeah. Flags that way, buddy. I, I don't want to risk him getting another point. I'm just gonna kill myself for full health. <laughs> oh, yeah. 
Oh, I thought I died immediately. Are you joking me? Easy peasy. Oh, here's the rock. What? I'm gonna go first because I bet she's in here. No? Okay. Well, easy. Alright. Do it again. Okay, you'll go that way? Fine. I'll go this way. No way! Oh, he died. I'm risking it. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> That's not what I meant to do at all. Got him. Go, dude, go. Go, 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 go. Quicker. Go. 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 I don't know where she is. Somebody get our flag back. The enemy has her flag. Okay. I got this. Easy peasy, fellows. Don't you fuck. Oh, thank God. How can they put the rocket launcher on one side but a fucking bio rifle on the other? How is that fair? Score! Score! Yes! Easy! Fucking. Alright. If you lose the first CTF map, then you know it's gonna be a long playthrough right now. No, we didn't lose, we didn't lose. That's good. Nice even 2v2, all right. That was good, that was, that was good. That was good. All right, okay. <laughs> uh, I just, I, I know commanding the bots in later CTF matches are gonna be a bit nutty, but. All right, I think that was pretty good. Four domination maps completed, one CTF. Did I hit pause? Oh, I did. <laughs> oh, and Facing Worlds is next, dude. All right, that'll be a good, I, uh, that could go either way. Like I could end with Facing Worlds or I can start the next uh, one with Facing Worlds. I think we'll do, we'll start the next one with. Um, I forgot to mention in the beginning of the video, which means, Nobody made it this far <laughs> into the video. <laughs> um, that I'm only going to be streaming this once a week now on Twitch instead of um, twice where I do two. Uh, I was doing Tuesdays on YouTube, Wednesdays on Twitch. I'm only going to be doing Wednesdays on Twitch because of the whole um, banning people for using emojis issue that Markiplier brought up um, for live streams on YouTube um, until that is like fully 100% resolved faux show uh but also because um i want to i think two streams a week it, while it was fun um it was a bit too much and it doesn't allow me to focus on some other content 
uh, that I want to I want to work on and get out as well, so I can kind of space out some of the videos on my channel. Um, but yeah, so from now on until further notice, the Unreal Tournament series will be live streamed on Twitch only every Wednesday. Um, just dropping Tuesdays and YouTube streams. So. Sound good? All right. Uh, what other content? Shh. Shh. All right. Listen. Don't make me slap you. All right, and have an explosion. We good? Okay. Anyway, God, I love that I set that up. Thank you for watching. That'll be it. Uh, I'm gonna keep streaming, but doing outro for YouTube uh, because I'm a goddamn professional. Ah. Okay, that's it. Goodbye. <laughs>